Welcome to Midlife Flysis. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or leave a comment. I read and answer them all. If you are interested in any of the flies I use in the video, or in a guided trip with me, visit my website, link in description, or email me. I'd be happy to tie some flies for you, or have you as a guest for a day. What do you think of that? I'd say that's not too shabby. Oh, we got rising fish. I so want to bring Lynn here. Oh, this place is just so wonderful. See a lot of fish swimming around in there. I'd like to take a minute while you watch the fishing to share a story with you that a viewer shared with me. It relates to my experience on this piece of water and I think explains how a spot on a creek can become more than just a place you fish. It can become a spiritual experience that can help change your perspective. Dave told me about a time after his son had passed away. In his words, he was moping around and hurting when his now late wife put his fishing gear on the doorstep. When he asked her why, she answered, we're going to the river. You fish, think, whatever, but take your troubles to the water and let the water take your troubles. He told me that really stuck with him, and to this day, the water and the sounds around him give a sense of peace and connection. I have a similar experience with this creek. It was on this very spot that I caught the first fish on my father-in-law's salmon rod that he left me when he passed away this summer. In those moments, I felt a sense of peace and connection. This is also the first truly amazing spot I discovered while exploring the waters near my home, and I always have a sense of peace and calm when I come here. Sometimes a spot just speaks to you. Its voice is the gurgle of the water sharing its story, or the presence of a loved one lost but not forgotten. The whisper of the wind in the trees, and a connection to all that is and has been, to an experience that is so much bigger than our everyday lives. go. When the cuts get picky, get portly. All right. And it's already out of them because it's barbless. Wanna make sure you don't get rehooked, dude. Hey, okay, there we go. This is There we go. Nice little cutthroat. Off he goes. Yeah. 
Creek. You get lots of them on, but they shake loose. Another one. They're all just tiny. He's off. Morning, everybody. Uh, I'm out here on a uh, windy, but otherwise awesome October day. Um, I'm out here with three rigs. Got a got my Eagle Claw, 6'6 six, six Eagle Claw. Uh, it's got a Miracle Caddis on and a dog's breakfast dropper. I've already got a ton of fish on this. Um, this morning and it's just been a, a great rig some on the dry and some obviously on the nymph um, I've got my usual nymphing rig uh, Which would have the uh, you know the never fail stone and and all that's on there uh, the dog's breakfast and I also have a pumpkin head um, uh, Hot wire prints uh, with the dog's breakfast underneath. That's the plan for today is to get out and enjoy nature fresh air decompress and uh, get some fish. So thanks for coming out with me. Another one on the dry fly. Awesome. I would have never thought. I'd be fishing drives and catching them this late. That miracle cat is making it happen. Still a small fish, but not bad for this creek. I mean, there are bigger, but he was nothing to be ashamed of. There we go, that's a decent sized one. We will even require the tool. Oh, he got off. There's a nice drift right down the middle. There we go. Since I fish again. Requiring the net. Awesome. And I think it hooks out already. Where is it? Yep, it is. Barbless dog breakfast for you, was it? Off you go. Nice. All right, this pool looks good. There ought to be something sitting in there waiting. I'm going to throw the dry at it first. Let's see what happens. I didn't deserve that. Not at all. 
I'll take it, but I sure as heck didn't deserve it. Oh, there. Wow. Okay, there definitely are fish in that hole, and they are not bright. throat off he goes another one taking the dog's breakfast ooh got a jumper and he's off that barb was up. Gets them off without injury. Means a few less to the net, but I'll take it. That was a bad cast. Another one. He took the dry. It's chill out now. Off you go. That one dragged. But it didn't matter. Nice one, off he goes. That miracle caddis is having some fun today. There we go. out. Another nice little cutty. Come here. Come here. All right. We'll just let you go this way. Come on. We're trying to swim through the net. Just swim out of the net. There you go. Well, I think uh, another fishing season might be over. Uh, this was a pretty good one. Uh, it didn't get out much in July, but uh, August was pretty good. Got out a few times in September. And uh, been out here now in October and I had a great day. It felt, felt like summertime. I mean, it started out pretty cold. Still above zero, but um, they were hitting dry flies all day. Caught a few, uh, you know, on the dry and on the dropper, the dog's breakfast dropper, but it was uh, streamers and, and dry flies. It was a good day. It's nice to do that in October. So i um, going to have a quick one here before I take off and go home. I'm having a Rocky Mountain High or a John Denver because this is called Rhinestone Cowboy. And it's by Big Rock Brewing.
have that and then hit the road ah oh, always good to get out here in the fresh air it's a bit of logging going on up top though i mean i know it's got to happen but you hate to see it ah. well thanks for uh coming out fishing with me again for another season and uh Hopefully next season we'll have the uh, guiding operation up and running. So if you're interested in a uh, guided trip, walk and wait guided trip here in uh, southern Alberta, fire me an email, midlifeflices at gmail.com. Looking for flies that work in this area or even selling flies to people in the United States who uh, fish in very different areas. They're working for them. So if you're needing some flies and you're seeing some that are working for me, Again, fire me an email, visit my website. There's a link in the description. Um, take you there, you can see our catalog of, of different flies and prices, and uh, you can let me know what you're looking for, and I can hook you up with some of those as well. But uh, it's been another great day. A little busy on the road today, but that's all right. Everybody's out enjoying themselves, so that's good. But uh, cheers.